People think creativity is some exotic power. It really isn't. It's, it's a, if you're a human being, it comes with the kit. You're born with creative capacity. And the best example of it, I think, is that you create your own life. When I say there have been 100 billion people on the Earth, every single human life has been unique, unrepeatable, and unpredictable. Think of your own life. Can I ask you, how many of you here, even here, <laughs> are doing now exactly what you thought you'd be doing when you were 15 at school? It's not that impressive. <laughs> now, I mean, you may be doing the sort of thing you want to do when you're at school. You may have wanted to become a veterinarian, and you are. You may have wanted to go into business, and you did. But this life, the way things are just now, the people you've met, the things you've done, the experiences you've had, the things you wake up worrying about or lie awake worrying about in the middle of the night, you can't plan that stuff. What you do do is once in a while you have to write your resume where you give the impression that you had planned it. Because you have to condense it into a few pages with some key dates. And you try to make it look like this is a precision plan that you've been acting out since you were at school. Because the thing you don't want to do is to convey to an employer the actual chaos that you've been living through all this time. What I mean is the chaos of improvisation, because life is full of opportunities and randomness and unexpected things. My brother, I'm from Liverpool, and my brother John, I've got seven, I'm one of seven kids, and my brother John is currently doing our family tree on Google. I think it's Ancestry.com. He discovered something very interesting, to us anyway. He discovered that our eight great-grandparents were all born in Liverpool in the middle of the 19th century within two miles of each other. That's how they met. They ran into each other in the street, met, liked each other, and carried on from there. Um, I mean, you might say, no, that's not the way this works. You know, this is the cosmos unfolding its plan so that these eight soulmates converged in the same point in the space-time continuum, that they should meet and procreate and continue the process that has led to the miracle that is me. <laughs> it's a way of thinking about it. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think so. Honestly, I just think they had lower standards then. Honestly, I think, <laughs> I, think, I think people saw each other in the street and thought, you'll do. <laughs> this will be fine. I could spend my life with you without being constantly embarrassed. You see, they didn't, at the time, have the internet. So they didn't know that Angelina Jolie was a possibility, you know, or, <laughs> or that Brad Pitt was an option. It wasn't. So they just married local people. People did live local lives for the most part. Um, so every life is unique. We create our lives by the choices we make and the understanding we have of our own capacities and interests.